Our first guest is a two-time Academy Award-nominated actor and quite possibly the biggest movie star in the world. His new movie, Moneyball, is being called the best movie of the year. Y'all saw it before the show. What y'all think? a great movie and it's a great movie for everyone it's getting ton of oscar buzz and it deserves and he deserves the oscar buzz please welcome for the first time here in the studio brad pitt <laughs> Suppressive. Hi, Ellen. I'm so happy. Ellen's right. Thank you. you look handsome. Thank you, you too. You look great. And uh, I'm so happy that you're here. And uh, I want to catch up with, I haven't seen you really in a long time. 20 years we've known each other. It, has it been that long? <laughs> Not since I've seen you last. But I know, yes. but we. Wow, that is a long time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, um, I, and I couldn't be happier for you in, in all areas, but uh, let's just talk about the movie, because I didn't know anything about baseball, and I loved the movie. I just thought it was, I, I learned uh, about baseball, and I, I got invested, and I thought, this is, that's a pretty impressive movie to actually get you invested in something you know nothing about. So congratulations um, on that. Thank you. It's, uh... It's pretty impressive they let me do it because I also know nothing about baseball. Really? Yeah, very little. It's shameful. It's shameful they even let me in the stadium. But I, I really got taken with this story of these guys and it's about the Oakland A's. Well, you guys saw it. Yeah. Uh, the Oakland A's in 2002. A true story. A true story. And, uh, you know, it's a story about underdogs and about people getting a chance who were being overlooked and undervalued and said they weren't worthy. And... Um, and uh, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It's, uh, it, it, and what do you mean you weren't, I would assume that you were obsessed with baseball to, because you kind of really made this movie happen, didn't you? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, I stuck with it for a while. It was, yeah. a, it was, a, it's a, based on a book by Michael Lewis, which I, I highly recommend. And it's called Moneyball, the Science of Winning an Unfair Game. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's about how do these teams that have a tenth of the payroll of other teams like the A's versus the Yankees, how can they be competitive? And these guys started dismantling everything they knew about baseball and, and questioning it. And in the process, they, uh, they, they, they found uh, places that they could exploit. And uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna keep coming back to this. You must play baseball. You must, you, you must do something with baseball. You must throw very well or catch or hit a ball. I have a small scar right here. It's the last time I met a baseball, 18 stitches. No, it wasn't that bad, but, you know. But no, I, I have... Like, how old were you when that no happened? I no arm. Like, uh, late elementary. Oh. And, uh, and I said, the movie is getting Oscar buzz, you're getting Oscar buzz. This, this performance is so... Uh, I said this to you backstage. I feel like it almost feels the way it's shot, like it's a documentary, because it feels so... The performances are so... so raw and real and honest and the movement of the camera it feels like you're really watching it happen yeah he did a, a, a beautiful job yeah it really is great and do we have a clip yeah. um, what clip is it do you know which one it is Brad I do this is a clip uh, with my daughter in the film played by Karis who uh, is worried that I'm gonna lose my job because things aren't going well all right Dad, there's, there's no way you're going to lose your job, right? What? Well, I don't know. I'm just wondering. Where did you hear that? Well, I go on the internet sometimes and... Well, don't do that. Don't, don't go on the internet. Watch TV or read newspapers or talk to people. Right, and, and for those at home, wait till you hear her sing. I know. Am I right? I know. Jeez. Very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. All right. We have to take a break. More with Brad after this.
after this. We'll be right back. How do you have time to keep the, the, to have the romance and to have like alone time? We find our we find our time. We carve out mm -hmm. mommy daddy time. It's not mommy daddy time. It's called a hotel. <laughs>